All right, let's move on to our hot button issues. And Nine's Millionaire Hot Seat is the latest TV production to be shut down in Melbourne. The decision was made after seven dancers from The Masked Singer tested positive for the coronavirus. All 200 cast and crew from The Ten Show have been put into isolation. The Masked Singer and Hot Millionaire Hot Seat are filmed in different studios, however, do share some production facilities. It's not known when the cameras will roll again on either show. Questions have been asked to Premier Dan Andrews on why television shows have been given an exemption while other industries haven't. Currently, existing television productions have been allowed to continue shooting, but new productions have been banned. The Premier says while it wasn't his decision, Victoria risks losing these productions if they aren't allowed to continue. Robbo, is TV outside of news and current affairs an essential service? Uh, well, it employs a lot of people, doesn't it? And it's also trying to shore up a, an industry that's having a really tough time uh, at the moment. Uh, but Dan Andrews is right. Essentially, uh, we found out that the Chase Australia has now moved production from Melbourne to Sydney. And, you know, you, you'd have to think that maybe unlikely it will return anytime soon. Uh, they do employ a lot of people. Uh, I think we need to be careful when we're, we're talking about shutting, shutting things down. However, um, the Masked Singer has 200 cast and crew. Uh, seven of them have got the coronavirus. They're all dancers. So that's also a worrying thing. And I think at this point, if you're going to be hardline on everyone else, you've got to be hardline on that industry as well. Well, that's the point, isn't it, Ben, that a lot of industries employ a lot of people and they've all had to shut down and take coronavirus measures. Um, the question remains, you know, a lot of people got upset with Dave Hughes when he said he was allowed to travel during lockdown because of his filming commitments. Uh, is television one of those essential services? No, it is definitely not. And like uh, the only intelligent thing I can say in regards to that sort of a production going ahead in Melbourne is this. Mm. <laughs> like, oh, what God. is going on, people? Like, I'm sorry. I know that the production had to be moved and apparently it had to be moved from its original shoot of last year being shot in Sydney because some of those Sydney studios were booked out. So they did look... They, they needed to look for new places to shoot it, but they don't need all of those dancers. They don't need all of those people dressed up in puppets. People are now sick because a stupid decision was made. Now, I love The Masked Singer, and I actually think it's an essential service for a lot of people because it is bringing some joy to our lives. But did it need to be looked at and done differently? Absolutely. It just seemed like a disaster ready to happen. And the only saving grace that I felt like that they had was that a majority of people in the country thought they'd finished production. I think if it wasn't for a few, you know, off-the-cuff remarks from some of those judges, we probably thought it would have been finished. But it hasn't, and it should have been moved. We do know that it has been in production very close to its air dates. They're yeah. about three weeks ahead. So uh, they were filming the finale. Uh, and Mike will talk about this more in the TV section, and, and you will as well, I'm sure. But um, it, it is interesting from the point of view of this idea of what is essential. And it's a tough call because the arts do bring joy. They do connect people. We've got three in commercial networks that would be in big jeopardy without new programming. Uh, I do come from a biased view of being a TV lover and TV geek, and I report on television. But it is a tough call. It looks like all measures that could possibly be taken were, but it hasn't been enough. And, and when you see something like this happen, you do have to rethink whether these um, services should go ahead. There's no doubt news and current affairs needs to continue because that's how people get informed. But do we, have, do we need entertainment? It, 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 I actually don't know what I think on this one. What? Now, hang on a sec. You don't know what to think about this, even though we now can talk about this after the fact. I mean, it's not an essential service. It could have been done differently. And then we find ourselves in a situation where some young people hired to be dancers on the show have found themselves with coronavirus. I mean, the whole thing is just stupid to me. Yes, but they, they but, but Dan Andrews has said that with, it's like the meatworks, that's an essential service and there will be clusters because we do have people working. That's the whole reason the state is in lockdown. And when you make exceptions, there will be issues that come up. And that's why, look, it sounds like, though, all production outside of news and current affairs is going to be shut down, whether they're in those studios or not. It's going to be an interesting couple of days to see what gets to continue and what has to shut down. Oh, look, 100%. But I just think, you know, at the end of the day, mistakes were made with this. It was definitely not an essential service. And 
what's the mistakes of continuing in a in Victoria. I'm sorry, but life so finds a way. Neighbors, Again, I correct. I quote. Shut down? So yeah, I, I actually like this, they should be shut. Yeah, I just, I just want to clarify. That's I, all. I think that anything that's being shot in Victoria at the moment, while we are trying to get the virus down and while we're getting that transmission rate down, all shows shut down. I think news and current affairs, where we are presenting the news, absolutely, you can be in the studio for that. But people are like you know, in in those environments, they're not. They're doing their own hair and makeup. They're no longer plucking their their eyebrows. You know, this show is not an essential service, let me tell you. So I'm doing this in my bunker, aka in my house. But when it comes to presenting Ticket Jumpstart in the morning, you know, I'm getting up in a digital environment, informing people of of, of news, so I can yeah. see what's going on, and we're taking those precautions in place. But I just think anything outside of that in Victoria just seems like a really silly decision. It's a bit rap and rap boom.